Good morning, everybody. This is Nicole Whitlock with Ecom Sellers. Today's topic is how to stay healthy in hectic times. So um, this is Q4, and typically during Q4, there's a lot of work that we all invest into our businesses as e-commerce sellers. We are focused and committed on um, you know, taking the most or taking advantage of Q4, all of the buying frenzy that's going on. Sometimes we work longer hours. Sometimes we don't eat as healthy. We're going through and eating fast food because we just didn't have time to do our regular meal prep. Sometimes we're not getting enough sleep um, because we're just working the midnight oil or we're checking on others who are running our business. So just some little tips to help you to stay healthy in the midst of it all. Clearly, clearly, I don't sound like I'm healthy at all. But in any case, uh, it's only because my son got sick about a week and a half ago. When he got sick, I got sick. And I have been struggling to recover. And so now I think I'm over the worst of it. But in any case, let's talk about this topic. So before we get into the topic, uh, the first thing I want to invite you to do is I invite you to go download the daily, weekly, and monthly planning sessions direct or documents. It's the checklist. Down, uh, downloads those directly from the e-commerce planning Facebook group. So we are live on Clubhouse. We are also live in the e-commerce planning Facebook group. So if you go over there, you go to the file section, you'll be able to download the daily, weekly, and monthly planning sessions. You'll need these because once we go through this list of ways to stay healthy, we're going to go straight into the checklist. So seven ways to stay healthy in hectic times. There are different windows in our business where it's really hectic. Sometimes there's uh, what I refer to as ebbs and flows. And typically I try to, for me personally, I try to plan for it or build up towards it. And what I mean by that is I, I know that the next six weeks or eight weeks are going to be crazy. I'm going to spend about four to six weeks planning for the crazy so that that way I'm not, um, you know, doubling all my hours. I'm not uh, doubling all my time and investment. I kind of spread it out so it doesn't increase or it manages my stress levels. And so, you know, in the midst of all this, one of the things that can happen is when your stress levels go up, your immune system goes down. And if you want to get a handle on that, if you're prone to getting sick or if your family members are prone to getting sick, especially right now, like it's, it's you know, November and this is cold and flu season and COVID and every other thing, RSV, um, strep, all of those things are part of this crazy, crazy season. And so we have to be extra vigilant to stay healthy in this crazy, crazy season, in addition to our increased stress levels because of the fact that we're working so much. We're so invested in our business. We're paying attention to the numbers. We're sometimes freaking out when we run out of inventory that's selling. Um, we're trying to make sure we're positioned well to be able to take advantage of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all of the buying days that are coming up. So one of the first things we got to do is we definitely got to get a hold of making sure that we're still getting regular sleep. You know, when you don't get enough sleep, it breaks down your immune system. And so then when you do get sick, you're down. And you're probably going to get mad at yourself if you're down in the middle of Q4. You, you can't ignore it. You can't avoid it. You can't get away from it. So what you can do is you can take do a better job of taking care of yourself. So number one, get more rest. Make sure that you're doing what you can to get more sleep or get regular sleep. Um, and stay consistent with it, even in the midst of Q4. Even if you're running the business by yourself or you've got a team, get regular sleep. Number two, stay hydrated. Um, stay hydrated, making sure you're drinking enough. Right now, I'm drinking green tea first thing in the morning, trying to make sure that my vocal cords, even though I sound like crap, that my vocal cords are... Um, as strong as they can be, but also um, that I'm hydrating myself as I'm taking meds and supplements to try to improve my health. So um, make sure that you're staying hydrated, doing everything you can 
to stay hydrated, drinking enough water. Um, I have a water bottle that has measurements and times on it so that that way as I drink throughout the day, I'm able to stay on top of how much liquid I've had in the day. So make sure you're staying hydrated, figure out how you want to do that. Um, establish some healthy eating habits. This is that window where snacking all the time, snacking on potential junk food, snacking on unhealthy things. If you're a person like me, I love crunchy stuff. So chips are my downfall. So since I know chips are my downfall, I am going to do what I can to make sure that I have healthier snacks around, that I've got nuts, that I've got, um, you know, if I'm going to eat something that's chips, I'm going to try and get a healthier version of chips. I'm going to have some carrots or celery around, something that's going to give me that crunch. So if you're a person, maybe you have a sweet tooth and you like candy because there's a lot of candy from Halloween. There's a lot of candy from Christmas. So what you might want to do is, uh, you know, get some fruits that are higher in sugar that you can eat on to give you a little bit of that sugar rush that you're looking for. There are some healthier chocolates that are out there. So again, choose, make healthier choices and then the regular meals that you eat instead of getting the fast food drive in, you know, try to do more meal prep or taking some time to invest in your health and do some meal prep. If you can't, try to make healthier choices while you're out. We have a salad and go here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I absolutely love it. So if I'm out and about, get the salad and go. <laughs> Number four, establish healthy routines. Healthy routines like getting your, taking supplements, if that's going to help you boost your immune system, manage your stress. Again, things that are going to help you to stay healthy or healthier or to re recover faster if you happen to get sick. So important that you be able to recover fast. So establish some healthy routines if you don't have them. Um, be more intentional about your healthy routines. Maybe it's something you do before you even get started working is that you go through and make sure that you've you know, taken your supplements or done what you can to help you uh, establish healthier routines. Number five, meditate. So meditating does many different things. One, it gets more oxygen to the body, which gives you more energy. Number two, it can help with recovery. And number three, um, with the regular breathing, it can also help with your immune system. And number four, it can help with your stress levels. And so meditating on a regular basis, just taking time to maybe sit back, close your eyes, breathe in and out intentionally for like five, 10 minutes every single day. Over time, you'll start to see improvements in your health and your ability to kind of manage your stress maybe. So meditating, sometimes journaling for some people also helps. Number six, get some exercise. Try to get out, get take a break, take a couple breaks, you know, five minute breaks three times a day to go for a walk, go down the street, <laughs> come back, whatever. Go up and down the stairs, you know, stand up instead of sitting all day, those things to help you. And number seven, get away. Make sure that you are doing something to get away, um, doing something to, you know, break up the day, um, celebrate when you have a big win, when you reach your goals and you hit your numbers. Make sure you celebrate. So I hope that this helps. I hope that you take the opportunity to use these tips, even though I sound like I should not be the one to share this with you. <laughs> Take the opportunity to do some things that are going to help you stay healthy in the midst of your crazy times in your business, whenever that is. It doesn't always have to be Q4. You could have a crazy season in, in February or you could have a crazy season in April. Whenever it happens to be, just remember these tips and use them to help you in your business. We're going to say goodbye for now.